How's everybody this evening? Would you stand? Let's give the Lord a good hand clap of praise. Tonight we have John Henderson with us. John, he, uh, he was our first music intern here and the longest. I mean, I, I finally had to just lock my door and say, don't come back. No, that's not, that's not true. But we're happy, to, we're happy to have him. They have a brand new recording that's out. And uh, do we have it here? Okay, it's out there. So be sure to go and spend thousands of dollars. Help Johnny out, okay? And uh, we're going to worship with them tonight. We're just turning it over to them and letting them have at it. So make welcome John Henderson. All right, I'm going to need you guys' help tonight. Is that okay? All right, is that okay? We're going to start off like this. I know you don't know these songs, but I'm going to need you guys to clap with me. I'm going to show you how we're going to do it right here. Here we go. Here we go. Is that good? Keep going. You 
how many of you are happy to have John and Shannon Henderson back home here at Stratford Heights? These two right here, they are a product of our church. 12 years old, John first walked in our doors, and it wasn't too many years later that he walked in with a cute little girl that he fell madly in love with. And now they have a beautiful little girl, Maddie. Maddie, won't you stand up and wave so people can see you? Wave at everybody. Here she is. We're glad Maddie is here. And we're excited. Thank you for the band you brought with you tonight and for coming home to be here. This is one of the very first nights that John is here to debut like his brand new CD. So we are very proud of him and what he's gone on to accomplish. He's a worship pastor at a local church here in town and he is just sought after in, in all kinds of ways. He is just excited about what his future is and we're excited to have him here tonight. And I thank you. I thank you for coming out and being here. I told you this morning what it's gonna be like and you came. And I really, I want you to give yourself a hand tonight because you are here and I really appreciate every one of you. What I'd like you to do right now, if you would, is congratulate one of you. I said this earlier today and I wanna to say it again tonight. It's very important that we understand that in our culture and in our society, our heart is to minister to people and to reach them. And that means that some folks, they're gonna prefer and they want, they, they love to listen to, to, to the Redback Hymnal and they love Southern gospel music and they love those good old fashioned choir tunes. And I personally, I love, I love black gospel. I, I, inside me is an African American singer. That's my favorite kind of music. Some of our young people, you know, they don't know anything else except some of the modern and contemporary worship. And that's what touches their heart. And I can tell you this, it touches mine too. And I'm excited tonight because this is like both worlds coming together. And I really appreciate your support and you being here. And I thank you that you are here tonight to support what I consider to be the generation that's up and coming. How many of you know we have got to do what we can to reach the new generation? We have to. And let me tell you how it works, because there's a lot of, you know, and, and you know me, I'm your pastor, and, and I'll just tell it like it is. There are a lot of smart alecks in the church world who don't get it. They're not, they're not really intelligent enough to get it. And that's just me. I'm going to tell you the way I really feel. They don't ever understand that, you know, the message, the message of Calvary, the message of the blood, the cross, the message of Jesus Christ, Son of God, that never changes. Amen. Never changes. But our methods and how we reach people in this community and in this world, it better change. It better change. Because I'm telling you, while the message is sacred, the methods are not. Jesus proved that himself all through his word. And so tonight, this represents us holding on to our heritage and loving where we've come from, but embracing the new generation and what's out there for the young people of today. So I want you one more time to give it up for the Lord who is absolutely in this place and in this worship tonight. Amen. Amen. And in my opinion, tonight the Star Award goes to Audrey Perk. Because Audrey, you'll never hear her put it down. You'll never hear her put down anything that she feels is honoring Jesus. And I love that about her. She's one of my very favorite people in the whole world. Because she, man, she means business when she looks to things that love God. I want you right now, if you will, take a few moments. They're going to sing again for us. And as they do, I want you to get out, find as many people. I want, if you're over 40... I want you to go find people under 40. And if you're under 40, I want you to go find people over 40. But whatever you do, don't ask them how far over 40 they are. All right? God bless you. Let's find some folks to shake hands tonight.
to cover what I already see. You've got your reasons, but I want your peace. You've been on lockdown, and I want that. Cause I loved you before. I loved you before, you knew it was love, and I saw it all, still I chose the cross, and you were the one that I was thinking of when I rose from the grave. I loved you before, you knew it was love, and I saw it all, yet I chose you. He was mad and he wanted Israel back because he's a jealous God and he doesn't share. He doesn't share his children. But what I read was there's a part in Hosea where God through his hurt is speaking to Israel and he says this, I want a love that lasts. And he didn't do this, what this song says, he didn't go to the cross and die for you. He didn't shed his blood and raise from the dead to be shared like it's not a big deal. So as we sing this again tonight, I just pray that that is released in this youth group, in the college age, in the middle aged, in the old people and the children, 
that God's a God who loves you. And you are the one that he was thinking of when he came back to life. When the storm was rolled away, he thought about Brian Little. And he said, I can't stop. I can't give up because Brian's counting on me. Amen. Cause I love you before you knew it was love and I saw it all still I chose the cross and you were the one that I was thinking of when I rose from the grave now rid of your shackles my victory is yours and I tore the veil What hindered love would only become part of the story you know as you run. What hindered love will only become part of the story you know as you run. What hindered love would only become part of the story you know as you run. What hindered love? What brings us forever? 
come will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Kingdom come, it will be done on earth alive. That's what I desire. I'm just uh, touched and broken in my heart as I hear the words of these songs that the Holy Spirit has given to John. And I'm asking Richard if he wrote these. And he wrote all of these songs that he's singing tonight that, that, that God gave him. The Holy Spirit ministered to him. I desire the Spirit to fall on me because I want the will of God to be done in my life. Do you? I want the will of God to be done in my city, in my home, in my family my car driving on to, to wherever I'm at. I want that tonight. Would you just lift your hands with me tonight if that's how you feel or, or, or however. But I want you to engage tonight. I want you to connect tonight. I don't want you to ask the Lord to just pour out that fire, that, that holy fire that changes us, separates that which doesn't belong from that which belongs, ushers in the presence of God. Father, we love you and we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. For the precious words of these songs, God, that have been penned and we've heard tonight. God, we believe, I know, Lord, they're from you. And, not, Lord, I'm thankful, Lord. Every song, Lord, I'm singing with. And it, it, it's incredible, Lord, to hear that sound. And, God, to hear, Lord, your voice. And, Father, we ask you tonight in the name of Jesus. God, we ask you tonight, God, to fall on us. God, we ask you tonight, God, afresh and anew to fall upon our families and minister, God, in such a way, God, as you receive glory and you receive honor and praise. And God, in this last day that we're in, God, we believe with all of our hearts, God, like never before, the love of God needs to be seen in our faces. The love of God needs to be felt and sensed in our words. And it needs to be felt and sensed. God, when we come into the room, Lord, we pray that you would come in with us. Father, you come in and touch hearts and minister, God, your love. God, we praise you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You can be seated tonight really fast, if you will. I want to thank you. If I can take a quick personal segue here, I want to thank you for praying for, uh, for my family in this hard time. How many know that we, we know that prayer works, but, but God really is the one that works. But when we pray, God gets involved. And this church has been praying for me and my family, and we felt it. My 55-year-old uncle lost his life. Last week we drove or flew to Colorado and drove half the way and flew. Just don't ask me about it. I'm just over it right now, that whole traveling thing with the newborn baby and my... Anyways, uh, it, it, was, it was a difficult 
difficult time, but I'm going to tell you what happened through all of that because of your prayers is God, God got the glory. And this life that was so young that got snuffed out, the Lord used to impact other people's lives. And I'm so thankful today even a lady gave me a gift. She wrote on it said, this is not an offering. This is a gift. And I just want to thank you because this church has been a gift to my family. And I didn't mean to do all that. I know that we're kind of in a different kind of night, but I feel like I need to say that. I'm so thankful for the love of a church family. Amen? Amen. I'm thankful for that this morning or this evening. Anybody tonight, as you just lift your hand, you have a prayer request, a prayer need, a special prayer need all over the house tonight. Just special prayer needs that you're praying about. I wish if you would just reach over and make contact or connect with that person that's beside you and pray for them if you would right now. So our ushers are going to come too to take up the offering. God, we love you and we thank you. God, we know that you're the burden bearer, Lord. The Bible tells us in Psalms 119 and 105, Lord, that your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Father, we pray that this night as we gather together, like any other night, God, we could gather in your presence. Lord, you'd come and God, the, the, the darkness, God, that's in our path, your word would just light it up, Father. And all of a sudden, God, we'd see what we need to see. And God, you'd direct us. And I pray right now over all of these requests, God, all of these needs and difficulty and the broken hearts that are here, the, the bodies that need touched, God, the families that need restored, the ministry that needs to happen, God, we ask you to do it in the name of Jesus. God, for your glory and for your honor, we give you praise and we give you honor. And God, I want to tell you tonight, God, as we pray, thank you, God. Thank you for John and what you've done, Lord. I remember, Lord, when, when God, you touched him. And I remember where he was at. And God, I'm thankful, Lord, so many years later, God, you've used him. You've raised him up in this day and this hour, God, to minister like never before, God, your love and grace. God, we love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give tonight in the offering as God leads you. You're here to meet me where I am my fear. Help me understand. I doubt. Let me know where
Stop, boy.